Uh, do a quick little zoom, just a little bitty bitty zoom right there. That looks good. Okay, and I'm gonna refresh over here. I see some comments coming in, but a quick oh, little oh, zoom. Oh. Ooh, never want to hear myself. That's never good. Okay, let's see. I need to slide up just a little bit, it looks like. So we'll get that situated right there. All right. Hey, Nancy and Marva and Connie and Alicia and Carla and Carol and Linda. Hello, everybody. I appreciate you guys coming and spending part of your weekend with me. That's very kind. Hey, Rosie. Hi, Karen. Hello, Carol. All right. So this is the card that I give you the little sneaky peek of sneaky peek of that. You know, I gave you a little sneaky peek of this this morning. That worked better. And it features rather prominently the Wild Fern set, which is in the January to February, or, um, the January to April mini catalog, which, uh, you know, is, is leaving us at the end of at the end of April. So if you don't have this bundle, I highly recommend that you get it. I do not know whether it will carry over and be available after the catalog retires. I don't know that yet. But it also has a rather prominent dimensional cover, prominent display with the perennial postage set. And this one, I don't even care if it's not carrying over. You just need to get this die set. You really need to have it. It's such a classic shape. And you get so many different um, uh, rectangles. It's just terribly, terribly useful. So just so you know, I'll show you, there will be a picture that shows you which of the dies I used on the blog tomorrow. But it's this one right here. So if you, if you nest them all up, it's this uh, second to the smallest one. Okay? So we've got that. And if you can tell, can you see that it also has an embossed... Um, hmm. I don't know where my embossing folder went, but it's around here. It has an embossed card front, and that uses the the Fern 3D embossing folder. Okay, we've got some of the Wild Ferns foliage die cut from vellum, and then we have a paper butterfly accent, which is fun. And then we have some more leaves and a butterfly on the inside. Hey, Kathy, I'm glad you already have this one, and hopefully you'll uh, be able to come up with something to do after today's video. So this is all for on the blog tomorrow, so you shouldn't need to do any note taking. You can just watch and enjoy. I have already embossed my card front in the Fern 3D embossing folder. I really love this embossing folder. It's got good deep embossing and it's pretty. It covers the whole panel, which I really, really like. Hey everybody, hi Faith. Hey Shirley and Holly and Christine. Appreciate you guys coming. So we're gonna just um, adhere this with some liquid glue to a flirty flam to a flirty mm -hmm, to a flirty flamingo mat. I'm playing with color challenge from the Global Design Project, and that was um, flirty flamingo, daffodil delight, and pumpkin pie. Now I know you probably didn't immediately think, oh, wild ferns, when you saw that color combination or heard that but it turns out that it works pretty darn good. And I'm gonna show you a fun coloring technique. So, before you joined, I've done a little bit of die cutting ahead of time. I know you have to be glad about that. I took that perennial postage uh, die and I cut out four of them from basic white. That one is right side up. Okay. And then I'm going to take this fern and I'm going to stamp it four times. I'm going to show you a fun little inking way to do. We're going to use Daffodil Delight and Pumpkin Pie and a dauber. Okay. So for those of you who like daubers, get ready because you're going to have some fun. You're going to like it. To begin with, I'm going to ink, 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 ink that fern with the Daffodil Delight and then I'm going to take my sponge dauber, my pumpkin pie dauber, and daub it in the ink pad and get it all over my fingers. Hang on, let me get rid of that before I have an accident. Jeez, that was very, very, very delicate. And then every time you do this, we're going to stamp it six times total in this card. Four on the front. Uh, actually, seven times. Four on the front, one on the inside, and twice on the envelope flap. Every single time you do it, it's going to look a little bit different. That's the fun of this 
way to do business, all right? So we inked with the Daffodil Delight. We've got our pumpkin pie on our dauber, and I'm just gonna add it kind of on the stamp, okay? And then we're gonna stamp that postage die cut. So you can see the Daffodil Delight and the pumpkin pie all kind of randomly in there, and we're gonna do it again. So here's the thing, when you do this, when you make this card, you really do want to clean your stamp between each stamping time. Otherwise, all the color just gets all mucked up, okay? Does it look like I'm moving really fast? Is it weird, is the video weird, anybody? Because it's looking really weird to me. Maybe it's just like catching up, but it looks like it's, moving fast. I don't think there's a way to make it go faster, so I don't know what it's doing. All right, so inked again in the Daffodil Delight, and now we're just going to ink it again. This time I was kind of focusing on the other side of the stem. Oh shoot, got that one dirty. I'll have to cut another one, just a minute. And we'll stamp, and you can see it's a little bit different again. Okay, clean it again. Clean it again. Ink and Daffodil Delight. Okay, good. I got distracted momentarily by my computer. Ink, and then with the dauber. And this time, I think I'm going to go on the outside of the little fronds. Like that. So it really doesn't matter how you do it. It's just gonna look kind of cool every time you do. Okay, now let me uh, let me go ahead and cut another one right quick because I got ink. Well, you know what? Let me see if I can get that off with my eraser, just a sec. Let me see if I can. If I can, I can. If I can't, I can't. Let's see, let me think this through. Oh, you know what? I'll put it like this and I'll use it in the bottom right corner. See? It's gonna be all covered up. That'll be fine. Okay. Clean it one last time. Ink in the Daffodil Delight. And then ink with our pumpkin pie dauber. Okay, and that's all we're gonna do. Oh, good, Sandra, you're watching on the big screen. Ah. Ooh, ah. Okay, so you can see I did the same exact thing four times and they all look different. I think they look like those botanical prints, you know, when they when they make those and, and mount them up. So let me get this closed up. Maybe I can avoid another accident. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to adhere these with liquid glue to our card front. And I'm going to put this little guy down here in the bottom corner. And then it does not matter where the others go. Just making kind of a grid pattern like that with our liquid goo. Our liquid goo. Our goo. We're going to use our goo. And you're just kind of making them, you know, even. Kind of like a grid. It's so much kind of like a grid that it actually is a grid. And we'll put that out like so, kind of make a similar reveal all the way around. The nice thing about the liquid glue is you can see I'm not like getting all head up about covering everything because you don't have to because it squishes. I mean, you know, that's the upside and the downside of liquid glue is that it squishes. So if you use too much, it's going to squish where you don't want to, but you can also be a little judicious with it one could even call it stingy, and you're still going to get good coverage because it's squishing around in there. It's really good on embossed fronts, okay? When you've got a lot of depth that you're trying to take care of. Give that a little push, and we'll put that right there. Like so. Oops, that needs to go up just a little bit. I like the white on white and the non-embossed on the embossed card front. Come on, get up there. Move, move, dang it. Move, I tells you. Okay, there we go. All right, hell. Now, I used, to, I, for our vellum, I used both of the corner dies, okay? 
I'm going to show you a little tricky trick. So you get two dies. One looks like that, and the other looks like that. But what I wanted to do was make a frame just on the top. So what I did is I adhered the two pieces together with liquid glue, like that. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm being careful, a little careful with the liquid glue because you can see it through the vellum if you're not careful. So remember me saying it's squished? Well, you need to be careful. So I'm just putting a little bit of the liquid glue. I'm going to have to actually squeeze the bottom area. There you go. Along that bottom edge right there. Like that. And along this side edge. No, I'm not going to do that yet because that's not, that's not where I want it yet. And then I'm just going to overlay that on the other piece. And now I have a single element of foliage. Okay, so as I was making the sample, I realized that my die cut sentiment looked funny because I had these weird little points right here. So here's what I did. You ready? I got out my scissors. And I started on this side because I could, and I went straight across just like that. And then over here, I did the same thing. I kind of came up under that, um, up under there like that, just a second, and cut it straight. And then I went ahead and cut like that. Now this little piece right here, don't get worried about that because that's going to be hidden. Because I aligned them this way, it's going to be hidden by my bow and my butterfly. So you don't even have to be fretting. Don't fret. I know you were fretting. You were probably thinking, oh my gosh, that's not going to be okay. Now, when we do this, part of this, this frame right here is going to be covered by your sentiment. But don't, give, don't paint yourself into a corner. All right? So just keep your glue towards the inside portion of this vellum. Okay, I guess I need to do a little glue bottle maintenance there. All right. Did you guys do anything fun today? I got, I pulled hay for the pony out of the hay shed and got it into the barn. I'll get it rolled into the tack room, into the hay room tomorrow. So that was my big do-ha. My big do-ha. I was going to run the vacuum cleaner. And I talked myself out of it. It was not it was not difficult to persuade myself to not run the vacuum. Okay. Now we're gonna put this. I want it centered so that when I put my sentiment on, the sentiment is centered in the middle of the card. Okay. So you can see by being careful with my glue, you really can't see it, right? And that's still hanging up there, so don't panic. It's gonna be covered, I promise. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and set this aside. Hey, Karen. All right, and I'm gonna get another piece of basic white out. And on that piece of basic white, in pumpkin pie ink, I am going to stamp the first Wild Ferns sentiment, okay? And I'm just gonna hold it for a beat or two. Oh, Sandra, two cards today, good on you. Get that all stamped and I'm going to go off screen right quick and I'm going to use this middle rectangle okay so it's in the wild fern set it's the middle rectangle and I'm just going to cut that sentiment with it okay so hang tight I'll be right back it's the only time unless I screw it up it's the only time I have to go off screen so don't worry don't worry be happy don't worry be happy Okay, sorry, I couldn't sing while I lined that up because I had to hold my mouse just right. Oh, righto, 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 righto. Here we go. Okay, so that came out as we wanted. Oh, there you go. Oh, a live stream. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool thing that we've figured out is how to do. That's like the only upside to COVID is that we all got really familiar and comfortable with 
the streaming services that you we have available to us. Okay, I'm going to use a dimensional or three, possibly five, to pop this onto the card front. And then we'll get our decorations going. And that'll be it. That I mean, that's just exactly how simple this card is. So, I haven't opened the box yet. I had too much else. I'm saving it for... Oh, Teresa, that's fun. Is it a big box? Is it a big box full of stuff? I hope so. And I hope you will have a good time with all of your new goodies. What is that right there? That is a little piece of vellum. Okay. So, I'm just going to center this on my frame. Like that. Make sure it's all straight and stuff. I need to pick this up because that's it is definitely high. Okay, there we go. There. Okay. So there it's sitting and doing its thing. And I'm going to get my um, twine out. I'm really using the heck out of this twine. I'm going to use the Flirty Flamingo. And I'm going to do it again, people. I'm going to do a double, double, double length simple bow. And just tie both pieces at once into my bow. Is that going to be enough? Yes. Yes, it will be. Oh, Pete, I'm so sorry about that. Um, it's a necessary thing, isn't it? Unfortunately. All right. So now that I have this, what I'm going to do, so I'm going to put a little liquid glue right here to catch that little leaf guy. I can do it because I'm fixing to cover it. Okay. This bottle is just being annoying. I just want it to know that it's really being annoying. And then I'm going to put some more glue there. and put my bow on like that. And you can tell my bow is not on the sentiment. My bow is on the card base, okay? It's on the card front. Can you see that? It's on the card front. All right, now that can set aside for just a second. And I am going to deep cleaning the dust under and behind the bed. Oh, there you go. Well, hmm. yay for a new bed. Now, to color this, I'm using one of the multiple sizes of paper butterfly accents. I've, I'm using the small one. And I'm going to start by using my uh, dauber with my uh, Daffodil Delight. And I'm not really going to add any ink yet. I'm just going to see how much ink I've got. And I'm going to color his center. And I do want more ink. Oh. I do want more ink. Come back here. You must be yellow. You must have yellow in your middle. And I'm going to go like halfway out the wings. And you can make him whatever kind of monarch you want. Actually, you could do this technique with all sorts of different colors. Just, you know, change up the two tones that you're using on the fern and then use the same two tones, a lighter and a darker color on the on the butterfly and you would have a whole different look with the same exact with the same exact design. Granddaughter's infinity birthday card. Oh <laughs> well I'm glad you're um oh a sinus infection. My goodness all right, well, I hope you get to feeling better soon. I do. Now we're going to take our pumpkin pie and just go around the outer edges of his wings. I just arbitrarily assigned him he right there. All right. Rosie, I'm glad your brain came back so that you could get your card done. All right, now we'll put these away. Hey, Trudy, appreciate you coming. All right, now, this little guy went to market. Wee, 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 wee. That was a random reference right there. Anybody remember it? 
how many people played this little piggy? Okay, so to adhere this, what I'm doing, I want a double stack and I'm just taking this little edge right here and the edge, the matching edge on the other side. And I'm gonna stack them up like so. Oh, I gotta take one edge off, one side off. Okay. I'm gonna stack them up like that. And then I'm gonna take the lid off that's gonna to adhere to the butterfly. And I'm actually going to color it with that dauber. Just a little bit, because it is gonna show through there. You are gonna see it. So I'm just kind of toning down that white a little bit. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna put it right behind the body of the butterfly, just like that. So you can see, you can see it, but because I colored it, it's not quite so, hello, there's a dimensional here. It's not like that. And then I'll take the bottom off there. I'm gonna give this a little curl before I put it on. And then we're gonna just stick him right there headed up into that bow, just like that. All right. Now, to finish off, I'm going to take a couple of flirty flamingo, and by a couple, I mean three, which I know is a few, not a couple, but bear with me. I'm gonna use some of the um, flirty flamingo dottalies right here, the little ones. And I'm gonna put one there, and actually, I'm going to put two down here, and I'm going to move that other one and center it up. I had a little bit different margin on my sample, so I'm, I'm working with it. It's paper and ink, people. And that is your card front right there. Done and done. So on the inside, I am going to take a piece of basic white that I apparently did not cut. I know I cut it. I know I cut it. And I don't know why I don't have it, but I know I cut it. <sighs> but I will cut another one. I will cut another one right here. Right here, right now. And then I will also... Okay, so on this one, we're going to stamp thank you in pumpkin pie. Thanks guys, I'm glad you like it. I do really like this set a lot. Now we're gonna stamp thank you in pumpkin pie and you really wanna be careful. So when you have a, you can see how the engraving got done on here. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of border on the bottom and not a lot on the top. What that means is there's a, there's a lot of room to rock here. And if I rock, I am going to have a halo. So you really don't want to rock. So everybody hold your breath. Don't distract me. Pretend we're at a golf tournament. I'm just going to hold it straight down, making sure I've got even pressure. Give it a beat. Okay, are you ready? And, oh, oh that was so stressful. Okay, so now we just got to we just got to stamp some more ferny worms. All right, so I'm going to get this out and I'm going to get my envelope out and we're going to stamp, color and stamp the ferns three more times. Trey Moss. All right, so ink up in Daffodil Delight. And this one, I'm going to do the one around the tips here, I think. You could do however you want. It's just not... There's no right or wrong way to do this. I mean, you know, obviously my way is the right, right way, but this will work just fine. There we go. And then I'll clean the ink pad. And we're gonna do the same exact thing. Well, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna ink it differently. I went down the center there, make sure I'm in the corner and not in the top. Okay, and one more time. Uno mas. And we'll be done, Ske. Thanks, Trudy. I got lucky. And let's do this one. 
I'm gonna do this one where I'm just kind of gonna use the edge so I have a much smaller amount. And I'm just gonna kind of skirt the stem, the middle of the stem, like that. And then we're just gonna put him on like so. Just like that. Alrighty. Now I can put these inks away before I have an accident. I know it's pretty, it's really pretty for foliage, isn't it? I really like it. And this is a really good set for it because it's it's really pretty inked up like this. So we'll just mat this on our flirty flamingo. Like so. Oh, like this right here. And I'm gonna keep that butterfly thing going with a brushed brass butterfly. I'm gonna use a large one and I'm only gonna use one. And he's gonna go right there, just like that. I love these guys because they're so flat. They work perfectly on the inside of cards when you want that. And then I'm going to adhere this to the inside of a Daffodil Delight mat, um, card base, sorry. So do you not love Flirty Flamingo and Daffodil Delight together? I just, it's just such a pretty color combo. I love it. I love it so much. And then I'm going to take my card front and we're going to put him on, not with black. That would be ew. That would be ew. Where did my dimensionals go? Here they go. Thanks, Susan. I appreciate that. Hey, Mallory. Yeah, it's a cute, it's a really pretty set. I like it. Um, I really like the foliage. The die cut foliage is really pretty too. All right, we're gonna cut these little edges. I don't remember how many more I needed, but we'll just keep, we'll just cut and adhere and cut and adhere until we're done with it. Gotta cut one more. Okay. And thanks, Marva. Y'all, there's only five days of celebration left. So five days to take advantage of getting free goodies when you make your purchases. You can get $50 and $100 levels. There's only five more days to take advantage of the hugely wonderful joining special. I would really love to have y'all on the team. If, you don't, if you're not a demonstrator and you think you'd like to be because you like a discount on Stampin' Up, just throwing it out there, 20 to 25%, just saying. If you happen to like sales on things, you need to sign up, I promise. There is no commitment. Uh, that is like my 1,000 million trillion percent guarantee to you. There is no commitment. So you can enjoy your discount. And if you change your mind and say you're done, then you're done. And you don't even have to worry about it. So there we go. Some pretty springy thank you cards. I like, don't forget, you can always stamp. Even if you've not used DSP, you can always stamp on your envelope. Remember, your envelope is your only chance to get a first impression. Don't, don't waste it. All right, guys. Again, I appreciate you spending part of your weekend with me, and I hope I will see you next Thursday for my Thursday after lunch bunch at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your weekend. Ta.